Hey guys, it's Chris with Better Editor, and today we are talking about the most amazing Premiere Pro plugin that I have ever come across. This thing is brand new, it dropped at the end of 2020, and it's called Excalibur. Behold Excalibur, the sword of power. So Excalibur basically lets you assign shortcuts to Premiere Pro effects. That's right, you can use a keyboard hotkey to launch any effect on any clip that you want within Premiere Pro. It also does a ton of other things that I'm gonna walk you through today. Now I'm gonna show you how to also kick that up a notch by integrating it with Touch Portal. And if you're not familiar with Touch Portal, it's an amazing app that you can get for your iPad, your Android, your iPhone, and it allows you to add buttons that you can then assign to more hotkeys so you can edit faster. That's right. So if you're interested in editing faster, this is the video for you. The first thing I want to show you is where Excalibur lives once it's installed. You can find it under Window, Extension, and Excalibur Settings. Now to actually call up Excalibur, you're going to use a hotkey that you program within the settings. And mine is Control Space. Now I don't have a clip selected, so this isn't going to do us any good yet. So let me close this. I'll select a clip, hit Control Space again, and Excalibur pops up. Now I have access to everything Premiere Pro has to offer. Let's start with an effect. So I'm just going to type Blur and it pulls up all of the video effects that have blur mentioned, including things from Red Giant, including things from Boris FX, all of them. So let's go ahead and just grab one of these. I'll say Gaussian Blur. If we come over to our effect controls, you'll see that a Gaussian Blur has been added and we never had to go to our effect panel. That is pretty awesome. So let's undo that. We'll get rid of that. So Excalibur can call up any effect that is within Premiere Pro but it can also call up effect properties like position, scale, rotation, anchor point, all of these things. So let's select this. I'll call up Excalibur and then let's just try scale. So I'll say scale and I'll go to scale, then set value to 50, hit enter. And look at that, that clip is now 50% smaller. What makes this ridiculously powerful is now I can select multiple clips and do the same thing. This time, let's say position. So I'm gonna go here open up Excalibur, say position. If I could spell, that would help a lot. Go to position. We can choose X or Y. I'm just going to move everything up. So let's say 100. And all of these clips have been moved up. That is awesome that we can do that all at once. So let's clear out all of that. So how do we program these hotkeys in Excalibur? Well, let's open up our settings under Window, Extension, and Excalibur Settings. So in there, you're going to see a box that is relatively simple. It lists everything it has access to. Thankfully, there's a search bar that we can use. And under General, you can see that you have shortcuts for unsheathing Excalibur or opening it up, as well as opening the settings for Excalibur. All right. So let's jump back over to Commands, and let's add a new effect. So let's open up the Lumetri effect. I can pull it up. And much like with setting keyboard settings with Premiere Pro, I can click under the shortcut and then type the shortcut that I want. We'll do Control Alt L. Okay, and then we're good. Let's see if that worked. I'll say okay. I'll come here, Control Alt L, boom. Now Excalibur takes that a step further because it allows you to create your own custom user commands. So that's what you'll see up here. These user commands, moving position, rotation, rotate left. I have all these set up, including scale down. I need to set a scale up. So let's do that. I'll say add user command, say scale up 5%, great. Then we'll say add command. And under the command name, I'm gonna search for scale. We'll click on scale. Then I'm going to say 5% and I want to add this to the value. And if I wanted to, I could keep going. I could create a macro out of this and keep adding commands on top of commands on top of commands. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to clear out this last thing. Okay. Now with this made, we need to assign our shortcut to it. So I'm going to click this and say Alt Shift Up. So now anytime that I hit Alt Shift Up, my scale is going to go up by 5%. Let's test it out. So we'll say, okay. Select this clip and say Alt Shift Up. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. And we can go back the other way. Isn't that the most amazing thing ever? I think so. Now, we're really only scratching the surface of all the things that Excalibur can do, but I just wanted to give you a taste of how powerful it is. But we're also going to take that a step further by integrating it with Touch Portal. 
Now, Touch Portal, if you're not familiar with it, is an awesome little application that can work on your iPad, it can work on your iPhone, it works on Android devices, and it allows you to create buttons that you can then assign to hotkeys that can call up commands inside of your favorite programs. I'll link to some examples below that show you how to get the most out of Touch Portal, but what I want to show you right now is how to really use it as a video editor. So this is my personal setup with Touch Portal. I use this every day while I'm editing on a regular basis. Now, the first couple of lines that I have here are the effects that I use through Excalibur that I regularly use while I'm editing. Below that, I have some other keyboard commands that are set through Premiere Pro's keyboard hotkeys that I can call up colored labels where I can click one of these buttons and my clip will automatically turn to that color. I also have a few other commands that make things a lot easier so I don't have to go through menus or use my mouse. And at the bottom of this, you'll see that I have some more Excalibur commands for scaling things up, scaling things down, moving left, up, down, and right, and even rotating things left and right 90 degrees. So hold up, let's take a step back. Why do I need Touch Portal if I have Excalibur that I'm using to create all of these hotkeys? Well, the thing is, at some point when you're working on this keyboard, you're eventually gonna start having so many hotkeys that it's hard to remember all of the ones that you have for various effects, for various label colors, for moving things up and down and left and right. It's gonna be too much. That's the beauty of Touch Portal, is we can now assign all of these really intricate hotkeys to buttons that we can use really simply. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, and if we look here, I'll select this clip and let's just see if it works. I'm gonna hit transform and boom, we now have a transform effect in our effect controls, pretty sweet. Now that also works if we select multiple clips and let's say I wanna change the color on those clips. I'm gonna change them to whatever that is, fuchsia, tan, brown, orange, yellow, pretty cool. Now you can do that. Let's say I wanna add Lumetri color effects to all of these, I can do that. Let's say I wanna add warp stabilizer to all these clips, you can do that. I think you see the picture. Now, one of the greatest things about Touch Portal is it has the ability to create macros that you can assign to buttons. So that means if I push one button, it'll perform a series of tasks. And one of those things might be if you wanna reverse the speed on a clip. So let's jump back in here. And if I select this, let's say I want this clip to go backwards when it plays. Now, normally I could call up, you know, the clip speed duration, click reverse and say, okay. But thanks to Touch Portal, I can program all of that to be done with a single click. I can select this and hit reverse speed and it all happens automatically. Similarly, if I decide that I wanna get rid of all of the empty tracks in my sequence, I can say clear empty AV tracks and it goes through and deletes everything for me that doesn't have any clips on it. And the last thing that I wanna show you is a nice little macro that I made that you can hit overlays and it'll turn your overlays on while still keeping your timeline targeted. You don't have to use your mouse, you don't have to dig through awkward menus, makes everything really easy. So now before you go, I wanna show you how to create a button inside of Touch Portal. I'm gonna click on this empty square down here, come down and first I'm gonna add an icon. So we'll come here, say from file, and this is gonna be a scale up icon, so we'll do that. Okay, scale up. If I wanted to add text to it, I could add text and say scale up and then tell it the position of the text where I want it to go. That looks good, but if I want it to match everything else that's on here, I'm gonna get rid of that, just showing you you can do it. Now I need to add what this icon is going to do. What is this button going to call? So I'm gonna grab a low level key press. I'm doing that because I'm in Windows. If I were a Mac user, I would use a virtual key press. Um, I just find that using the low level key press works better within Windows environments. So I'm gonna come here and say Alt, Shift, and we're gonna find the up arrow right there. Say add, good to go. We'll say save. And now I have another icon here and it's been automatically added to my iPad. So if we jump into Premiere Pro, I can grab this and let's see if it works. So that's a brief overview of Excalibur and Touch Portal. Now we've only scratched the surface on these programs and you can tell that they are extremely powerful by themselves. But I hope that you can also see that when you combine them together, they have the potential to make your editing speed go through the roof. Now, if you're interested in downloading either or of these programs, please check the links in the description. I also included in the description a link to my personal Touch Portal and Excalibur settings, and you can learn more about that there. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.